We also need to ensure that no country, not Russia or any other nation, can use energy as a weapon of coercion to bully or change the policy of another nation. We've known for a long time, you've known for a long time, that dependence on a single source of energy is a big problem. A big problem. And now is the time to act. Europe has made steady progress already. For example, you passed laws with the goal of creating an integrated European energy market. Now is the time to implement those reforms and push for more diversity in fuel types, sources, transit routes, and more investment in the types of infrastructure, interconnections, storage facilities, LNG terminals that will unleash market forces. We, the United States, want to be as helpful as we possibly can. It's overwhelmingly in our interest that Europe not be dependent. But it's within your power to make energy security the next chapter in the European project of integration and market expansion that began decades ago. Maybe I'm the only one old enough to remember with the European coal and steel community. That's a frightening prospect to think of that. And if we can finally get it right, there would be, it would be an enormous contribution to the security and independence of Europe. 